we're back with another video and today we are looking after Joel's BMW Z4. There was a lot of requests after the 7 Series video that we had a look at this car, gave it a bit of an assessment and see what we could do to enhance the paintwork. So today primarily we're going to focus on removing all of the swirls, giving it a nice ceramic coating ready for summer but we've also got some dirt to remove first as well. Let's have a look at the areas specifically that we're going to be working on today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. As part of our initial assessment of this car, we've got areas which need a little bit of extra attention. We've got a bit of sticker residue on here from the previous garage, uh, just leftovers which needs to come off. We've got a bit of general road grime all over the car, which is fine, nothing unusual there. There's residue of algae and green deposits just around the edge of the roof, which again, with a convertible roof is quite normal. Uh, it's just the areas that don't get picked up in much detail usually. And then main focus of today, if we look down the side of the car, there's an awful lot of swirls, holograms, just general untidy paintwork. So we're gonna give that a good attack as well. So if you have a look at the difference between the two headlights, you've got one which is very cloudy and one which is clear as it should be. So we're gonna get this one matching that one. As you can see, we are starting off with the roof because all of the dirty water that runs off is going to run over the rest of the car. So there's no point in starting it anywhere else. But if you take a closer look, this is just the first scrub with an all-purpose cleaner and a brush, and the roof is green. on the roof. You may also notice that the soap in the fibers of the roof is starting to go a little bit whiter and a lot of the green has started to come out already. You'll also notice that part of the rinse cycle is using the jet wash to remove the soap. Now traditionally you shouldn't use a jet wash on a convertible roof up close but as it's just rinsing the soap off and not directed into the fibers of the roof it's absolutely fine to do. The little top tip there as well. So we're now at the point where the roof and all the shampoo is completely clear, which means there's no more dirt left inside the fibres of the roof. The last little bit is to tidy up the edges around the sills, make sure that there's no algae left growing in there, and then we can crack on with the rest of the car. Next up after the wash is the decontamination process. This involves the iron fallout remover, the tar remover and a clay bar over the top to make sure that the paint is as clean as possible ready for polishing. wash is done, the decontamination is done, it's time to go inside to clay the car because it's direct sunlight, we can't do it outside. So we've done the interior, we've given that a tidy up first. Um, the paint condition wise, now it's under the lights it's gonna need an awful lot of work. So next up, we're gonna clay it, and then we're gonna start with the polishing. 
I'm gonna try and do two stage, get uh, a heavy cutting stage done first and then refine over the top to remove as many of these deep marks as possible. But we'll show you around and see if you can pick up um, on the camera all of the deep, deep marks that are in there. This car looks like it's probably never been polished properly. So. So what we've done is a quick test panel, a section of the car to try and find out the best pad and polish combination. This is the rectangle section that we did the test on on this side, and this is the side that we haven't done. We put a piece of tape down the middle to show the difference between before and after, and this is before refining as well, so it's cut really nicely. The paint's reacted really well to the combination that we've used. Part of this project for Joel today, as mentioned before, we're also changing the color of the wheels. So the first part of the prep of the wheels is we break the bead on the tire, and given that this is just a wet paint rather than a powder coat, we can leave the tire on to do it as well. And we're gonna spray these in a nice color that Joel's gonna to reveal tomorrow. Okay, this is the original half of the wheel. This is the untouched part and as it came in. And then on this half, we've got where we've just sanded back the edges to remove any of the curbing rash, any of the damage that sat around the edge to make sure they're all fully prepped, ready for the new base coat to go down. base coat down, which is the actual colour coat. They've all been prepped up, they've been primed, so now we're just uh, doing the base coat itself, then we set that, dry it, and put the lacquer over the top to make them nice and shiny. top of the boot lid was because it's a horizontal panel it usually takes a lot more of the washing pressure when someone's washing the car so it means that the swirls and the deep marks they're a lot deeper than the rest of it so what we've actually had to do is use a different type of polisher so we used a rotary machine to cut deeper into the top of the boot lid to remove um, slightly more of the top layer of lacquer get right down and make sure that there's no marks left before we refine it what that's left is some holograms and some buffer trails across the top of the boot lid, which now need refining again afterwards with the DA. Paintwork, all polished, we're nearly there. Um, it's now time for sealant. So paintwork wise, we will go with uh, panel wipe and then the Nassiol um, ceramic coating. And for the convertible roof, we're gonna use the G-Technic i1, which is a smart fabric, fabric sealant. So for a true paintwork finish, after you've done all the cutting and the refining to make sure there's no oils or polishing residue left anywhere on the surface of the paintwork. And before you put the coating on, it's always sensible 
and correct to use a panel wipe. So panel wipe removes all of that oil and gives you a true finish on the surface of the car and it gives you clean base to stick the coating on top of. So this is the national uh, ceramic coating sample that they sent us. Um, just to point out, this is not endorsed and they're not paying us to promote this product. It's literally a sample that they've sent us to try out. So we're gonna give it a go and give us honest opinion and review on this product. Overall impression, pretty good. We normally use the G-Technic range and they're very consistent and very, very good, solidly good products. They're our favorite go-to products and we use all of those for the ceramic coats that we normally do. Um, this is a comparison, uh, slightly, it's very similar in terms of the application. Um, it feels slightly less silky once it's finished, but only just. The comparison is about 10%. Um, so on the whole, yeah, pretty pleased. Z4 is all done and dusted, it's ceramic coated, the wheels have had the colour change, she's looking absolutely banging again. Uh, Joel, come on in, let's just have a quick uh, talk around of what we've done. What do you think, first of all? Unbelievable. Yeah? Honestly, I don't know how long a camera will pick it up, but <laughs> we were saying it's a completely different black framework. Yeah. And I'm over the moon with the wheels, actually. I was yeah. a little bit apprehensive about it, Yeah. but they look amazing. I think the colour really suits it, actually, and of the ones that you we're kind of deliberating on, yeah. that was definitely the best choice. I think Absolutely. so, definitely now I've seen it. Yeah. And it. And it dips like between sunlight and dark, they change completely, yeah. which yeah. I think is really cool. So the reason why the paintwork looks different is because we've actually removed all of the swirls in the paintwork. Yeah. So now when light hits the car, it doesn't refract everywhere, it travels in a straight line, therefore changing the appearance of the way that the car looks in front of you. It's so smooth. Yeah, and it's really silky as well, just you can touch the back of it if you want. <laughs> I know you like stroking things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you again for watching. We'll catch up with you next time round.